Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to compare two heavy hitters of the cell phone world. We got the brand new Apple iPhone 13 Pro Mac versus the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Yeah, so like I said, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is brand new and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G actually came out back in January 2021. So this phone's been out for a while now, but I still think it's still a good test because this is still Samsung's current flagship, not counting the foldable phones, but it's the it's the current S lineup of phones. So it's fair to compare the two until the S22 comes out. So these phones do have some things in common. For one thing, they are both pretty big phones. So the iPhone 13 Pro Max has a Super Retina XDR OLED display. Finally, it's 120 hertz, just like the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It's capable of HDR10, Dolby Vision, all those cool things. And it has a peak brightness of 1200 nits. The screen is 6.7 inches with a resolution of 1284 by 2788 pixels. And it has a 19 by 5 by 9 aspect ratio with a pixel density of 458. Now that's a little, little uh, less resolution than the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has a 6.8 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 3200 by 1440p and a peak brightness of 1500 nits. So it gets a little brighter than the iPhone, at least on paper, and the screen is higher resolution. Now, whether or not you're gonna be able to tell the difference between the two, it's kind of hard to tell on a display of this size. The S21's Ultra screen is beautiful. I'm sure the iPhone screen is always gonna be nice because iPhones, even with lower resolutions, they always somehow come out looking really, really nice. So I'm sure the Apple screen is beautiful. So the iPhone has Gorilla Glass on the front and back. Uh, doesn't say what type of Gorilla Glass. And it has a stainless steel frame. While the S21 Ultra has Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and back with an aluminum frame. So kind of similar. As far as the OS goes, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is running Android 11 with One UI 3.1. And it's either powered by the Exynos 2100 if you're in Europe or Asia, or Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G if you're in North America. Um, some people prefer the Snapdragon chip, but this year the Exynos and Snapdragon chips are very similar. So no matter which uh, model of the S21 Ultra you get, you're gonna get a very fast octa-core chip with it. Um, also comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM. There's a 16 gigabyte of RAM variant as well. That only comes in uh, 512 uh, gigabytes of storage if you want the 16 gigabytes. If you go for the 12 gigabyte of RAM version, you can get storage as little as 128 gigabytes all the way up to 512 gigabytes. Now the iPhone 13 Pro Max is running iOS 15 and it's powered by Apple's A15 Bionic. Now the A15 is going to be faster than whatever chip is in the S21 Ultra. That's because the iPhone 12 that has the A14 chip is already faster than the S21 Ultra and the A15 is going to be faster than the A14. And just so you know, the Apple A15 is a hexa-core CPU and the GPU is a five core GPU. Now the iPhone comes with six gigabytes of RAM, but don't think that just because the iPhone has less RAM than the S21 Ultra, that it's gonna be slower or it's not going to be able to efficiently um, juggle a lot of apps at the same time. That's because Apple's phone, you know, their Apple controls the chip and the software so it controls the materials you know and the software so the software is always very optimized to run on whatever chip it's running on so ram management and power efficiency and just performance in general is always very good on the iphones and oftentimes better than a android with much better specs so i wouldn't be surprised if the iphone 13 pro max can handle certain certain apps or can handle certain tasks much better than the S21 Ultra. Not that the S21 Ultra is a slouch by any means. It's a beast in its own right. 
So you can get the iPhone 13 Pro Max with as little as 128 gigabytes of storage and it goes all the way up to one terabytes, which, which is huge. So yeah, so if you want a lot of storage, you definitely have that option if you're willing to pay more. So yeah, now moving on to the main cameras. So let's go with the iPhone first. Like last year, the iPhone has a three lens camera system. The three lenses are all 12 megapixels with varying apertures from 1.5 all the way up to 1.8. You have a wide and ultra wide and this year, the iPhone also has a telephoto lens with three times optical zoom for those of you who like to zoom in. And there's also the LiDAR scanner, which is pretty commonplace. I believe the iPhone 12 Pro Max also had a light, LiDAR scanner. Uh, as far as videos goes, it can shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second, 1080p up to 240 frames per second, and it also does 10-bit HDR, Dolby Vision, and just a lot of cool features. I think most people agree that video and iPhone is very nice and better than video on any Android, but the Galaxy S21 Ultra has a very impressive camera system itself. The Galaxy S21 actually has a four lens camera system. So you have the main wide lens, which is 108 megapixel. Then you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. And then you have two telephoto lenses that are both 10 megapixels. One has a three times optical zoom and the other has a 10 times opt optical zoom. So if you're someone that really, really likes to zoom in with their cameras, you know, like 10 times, <laughs> like, uh, 10 times what the normal camera, uh, what the main camera lens can do, then the S21 Ultra would be the phone you wanna go with. And they both take beautiful photos. iPhone reviews, iPhone 13 Pro Max reviews of the camera are just starting to come out. And the iPhone always has a strong camera, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's very good this year as well. But let's the S21 can do video up to 8K, so it has higher resolution video uh, as compared to the iPhone. Uh, it can also do 4K up to 60 frames per second, 1080p up to 240 frames per second, and 720p up to 960 frames per second. So it can do a lot of cool things. It also can do HDR10+, stereo sound recording. So they both have very good uh, rear camera systems. As far as the selfie camera goes, we'll start with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra first. The S21 Ultra has a 40 megapixel front facing camera. It can also shoot 4K video up to 60 frames per second with the front facing camera. As far as the iPhone selfie camera, it's a 12 megapixel and it can also do 4K up to 60 frames per second, but it can also do 1080p up to 120 frames per second with its selfie camera. So I'm sure they both look good. I know the S21 Ultra looks good. I'm sure this uh, the iPhone's camera will look really nice as well. As far as the speakers go, they both have dual speakers. Uh, I'm not going to get too in depth about the speakers. Again, I know the S21 Ultra sounds good. I'm sure iPhone speakers will sound good as well. Now let's get into battery, which I know is very important for most people. And I think that's why a lot of people are buying bigger phones nowadays because bigger phones have bigger batteries. Now with the iPhone, Apple doesn't say exactly how big the battery is, but the iPhone 13 Pro Max, according to reports, has an 18.5% larger battery than last year. And judging by all the reviews out, it has great battery life. The S21 Ultra, on the other hand, we know exactly how big the battery, battery is. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and it also has great battery life. So both the S21 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max are capable of fast charging. The S21 does fast charging at up to 25 watts with a with a USB-C connection. It also has fast wireless charging at up to 15 watts and it can also reverse wireless charge um, compatible devices at 4.5 watts. The iPhone on the other hand, the iPhone 13 has 
uh, fast charging that's just a little bit slower so it can do fast wired charging at 20 watts and Apple says this will give you 50% battery in 30 minutes. Uh, it can also do MagSafe wireless charging at 15 watts and key magnetic fast wireless charging at 7.5 watts. So both have a lot of options as far as charging goes and sure both have great battery life neither has the fastest char uh, fast charging in the cell phone world but they'll get the job done and that's it guys so in summary both these phones have great screens both have great battery life and both have great camera systems if you're really into video iPhone usually does better video so I just wanted to let you guys know that but on the photography side of things I'm sure some things will go to the s21 and sometimes the iPhone 13 will do other things better so it's kind of a toss-up as far as which one should you go with if you're already in the Android ecosystem and you just want the best that Android has to offer you can't go wrong with the s21 ultra even now in September of 2021 you can hold off a bit because there's uh, the s22 is going to come out in a few months and um, other Android devices are also on the horizon but this is still a great option if you're in the Apple ecosystem then it just makes sense to go with the iPhone 13 Pro Max because it's the best that iPhone has to offer and that's it guys sorry if you hear some rain in the recording it just started raining outside as I was wrapping this up hopefully um, this microphone doesn't pick up the rain noises but if it does it's raining outside I didn't add in like a sound effect or anything thanks for watching guys if this video helped you out give the video a like if you enjoyed what you saw uh, subscribe to my channel I try to post every week always tech related stuff and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.